What is up guys? Hanging out here with Miss Nolly. She's uh, doing her thing. Today I want to talk to you guys about this $2,000 YouTube Honda Build Challenge. I'm all for it. Even though I'm a smaller channel, I believe I have like 80 subscribers now. Anyway, shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. I got a bunch of new ones on board since I started posting a couple comments about this challenge. So I, I wrote some notes down because I can't remember anything, so bear with me if I look like I'm reading this. You know, that's what it is. I had a bunch of ideas and I figured I would just make a video rather than just post comments on people's videos. So $2,000 is a really good budget. It gives you enough money to actually do something to the car rather than just, you know, throw an intake and an exhaust on it, which would just be kind of a bunch of bullshit. I just watched Autosauce's video about um, possibly having a B18 challenge. I think that's fucking garbage because you know, whoever suggested that probably has a B18 right there. You know what I mean? And uh, what happens if B18s are more expensive in your area and you end up being able to just afford the B18? You know, there's some talk about it, maybe just having a stock B18, which is what the fuck is the point of even doing that? Here's my proposition on the thing. I say we do a $2,000 build, half off for currently owned parts, new or used, because people just have shit laying around. If you do have to buy everything, I think that there should be like maybe a $500 allowance for not having any parts laying around because that puts some people at a complete disadvantage if they're starting from scratch. So like if you start from absolute scratch, then maybe you should have $2,500 budget. I think the car should be included in the budget. So since I'm in Colorado, there's people in California like Young Static, and then there's people, there's people in Florida like uh, SP Tuning, I guess there's some talk of having it down there. Um, I know the Boosted Boys are just north of me. But I think we should be able to, if you cannot make it to an official drag, I think we should be able to hit a quarter mile um, in your area and post a certified time slip. I think that should be just as good. I don't see why that wouldn't count. I'm not gonna be throwing $2,000 into building this car and then throw another $2,000 to ship it to Florida. I mean, that doesn't make sense. $2,000, run what you brung. Who cares about nitromethane? If you can make a car work on nitromethane for $2,000, if that's what you want to do with your money, who gives a fuck if you run nitromethane? Who cares? So I'm going to be entering. I've got my 99 Civic. I just picked up another job, so it's going to take me a little while. Alrighty, guys. So I'm definitely in for the challenge. 2,000, 3,000, whatever, as long as it's not a B18 or a B20 or specific motor challenge. 2,000, 3,000, whatever the official rules are, don't care. As long as I don't have to schlep my car to Florida or it's a specific engine challenge, I'm good. So regardless, even if those are the rules, I'm gonna be building my car and I'm gonna be racing it and I'm gonna be posting a time slip. So if you wanna see that, stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.